Before I even start this video off, there's one thing that you have to know right away. In order to really go far in lifting or calisthenics or whatever you do, you have to fall in love with the process. You know, you have to love the ups and downs that come with it, reaching failure and growing from that, hypertrophy, whatever it be. And with that, I get when people say, you know, motivation only goes so far, but discipline takes you the rest of the way. But I like to think of it as motivation can walk, so discipline can run. Like, you can't just do something that you hate and expect to grow from that, you know? You have to find some part of it that you love and want to improve on, or for lack of a better word, I guess. But yeah, besides that, let's get started. So along with that, there's three other things that I would consider to go along with motivation and discipline that are necessary for growing with lifting, calisthenics, bodybuilding, whatever. Those three are sleep, diet, and lifting, obviously. So when it comes to lifting, I get how that can be difficult for a lot of teenagers or, you know, wherever you are in your journey. I mean, gym memberships are pretty freaking expensive, dude. With your workout plan, say, as a beginner, assuming you're a beginner watching this, four days a week, and every day of those four days, full body workout. Legs, calves, quads, hamstring. Well, it's part of legs, but yeah. Abs, chest, biceps, triceps, shoulders, back, like everything. Full body workout, four days a week, right? With that being said, a lot of people don't really have access to formal commercial gyms. And I would say, if you could either save up to get a gym membership or save up to buy your own home weights or something that my community has, I don't know if it's in other places, is community gyms, which is like, you know, you live in the neighborhood, there's like a car that you can get that allows you access into like three gyms or something like that, but commercial gym community gym if other people have it not really sure and home weights you know dumbbells adjustable dumbbells are great bolt bars definitely even i have a bolt bar still going to the gym yeah just as far as i can remember when i first started lifting all i could think about was just going to the gym lifting weights and all that stuff to grow and build muscle but it can be frustrating as a teenager especially not having access to those things like whenever you want, which is why I would say keep all that bottled up until you eventually do have access to whatever it is that you want. Parents drop you off at the gym or go with you or something like that. You get a car, whatever it is. That way you have that easy motivation to want to get, to want to grow more in lifting. I think that's about it. Yeah, just find a good workout plan. Maybe look for, maybe ask a buddy, YouTuber or something that has good workouts that you've seen good reviews about. And yeah. Okay, so especially with beginners, I think that major role in the lifting process is your diet. So when I started off, I was skinny fat. And I'm sure a lot of other skinny fat people can relate to wanting to cut right away, you know, get rid of these. Don't. I think majority of people, when they're first starting, need to bulk. Unless you're like 300 pounds morbidly obese, but still. Um, really skinny people, I get it can be frustrating when people just say, Dude, dude, just eat more. It's so easy. I don't really know if it is that easy because I was never a skinny kid, but you know, whatever. But I would say if you are really skinny, just try your best to eat as much as you can really until you can start gaining some weight. I can see, I understand how that can be frustrating for you, but regardless, try your best. Again, skinny fat people, bulk. For, for skinny people, skinny people. If you're trying to bulk up as 
as someone who's starting off with a skinny baseline, I would say your protein intake should be in a surplus. Same goes with skinny fat, especially if you're a beginner, you know, you're trying to pack on muscle, trying to get bigger. Best thing to do, calorie surplus, increase your protein intake. That way you get here, you're jacked, you're fat, and then you can cut. But yeah, so anyways, um, calorie surplus, increase your protein intake, especially if you're a beginner. Fruits and vegetables, manage your fats, carbs, calorietracker.net to get your cutting calories, maintain bulking calories. Uh, so overall, be smart and check your diet and sleep. So I would say as a teenager, especially as a high schooler, it is really hard to get a good amount of sleep, but that's where the discipline comes in because you have to be smart enough to tell yourself, all right, I need to wake up at, I'll just say how it goes for me. I have to wake up at 5.30 for something if I wanna lift. It means I have to go to bed 8.30 or nine. And yeah, you know, I don't wanna to sound too serious or like cringy or something, but you know, is what it is. You gotta get the right amount of sleep. It, you can have the perfect diet, you can have the perfect training system. You don't get sleep can grow. Same goes with any other factor of it. If you don't have a good diet, if you're lifting, you need good enough sleep, you're not gonna grow. You're not supplementing your muscles. And if you don't lift, I mean, come on. That being said, eight hours, don't waste your time. Be smart. And yeah, it's how to grow in a year. I know for a lot of people, it's not really believable that, you know, doing this a couple times is gonna get you you super big and jacked, but that's why you have to trust the process, right? Something a lot of beginners need to remember, and this is important. Every time you lift, you have to reach failure. I know a lot of people talk about that Mike Mincer quote where he says, if you go into the gym and just pick up one dumbbell and cur curl it, you think you're gonna grow? No. That's why it's important to always reach failure go to you can't do it anymore and then that's how you get hypertrophy muscles grow from there you get big that's about it uh if i missed something let me know in the comments down below i probably did just kind of just off rip not scripted just talking but yeah um good luck